Hello there, friends and RC family. My name is Alec from High Noon Hobbies, and if you're new to this channel, I very much appreciate you checking it out. I hope you will stick around, watch at least this video, see if this content seems worth your while, and consider subscribing so that then I can say to you, if you aren't new here, welcome back to yet another Friday upload. This Friday upload in particular, we're going back in time once again to the 2022 North vs. South Utah RC Crawl and Championship down in Three Peaks near Cedar City, the Three Peaks Recreation Area. If you're familiar, you know it's the most incredible crawling you're going to find around the area, and it's just, it's fantastic. It's not Red Rock like you might be used to seeing on, uh, you know, this particular gentleman who's we're, who we're going to be watching, Desert RC's channel. It's not the Red Rock that you expect from West Desert Wheeler, but it's more of a grippy right, white rock. Um, but it is the site of one of the We Rock Championship or the We Rock competitions, which is an actual full-scale uh, crawling competition and a bunch of other crawling happens in this area because the rock formations are amazing the rock is super grippy and it's just a fantastic time so today we're going to be watching a throwback video watching Cameron from Desert RC I already kind of gave that away uh, rip through this class 2 this tough class 2 course in his scale buggy body custom or, or custom carbon chassis uh, rig that he's put together and it's a pretty impressive run so you're definitely going to be wanting to pay attention to some of the moves that he pulls out here um, but before I, we get into it I do want to let you guys know that this is actually coming out uh, on the Friday before the Saturday of the first 2024 North vs. South Utah RC Crawling Championship qualifying round down in the south so if you're going to be there leave it down in the comment section down below I want to see who I get to say hi to while I'm down there. I'm very excited to see all you guys. I'm still going to be kind of limping around a little bit, still working on the knee, on rehabbing the knee. For those of you who don't know, I tore my ACL back in November, got surgery in December, and so I'm still kind of not quite 100% there yet, but I will be very, very stoked to get some new content to share with you guys as well. But until then, let's just jump straight into this run, shall we? All right, and here we are at the Far East course. Not that that means anything to you guys. I could say the the whatever, the right course or the left course, for that matter. It wouldn't really matter. But we're on this Class 2 course, ah, and just a tough start there for Cameron from Desert RC. Um, but we are on... This is a pretty interesting Class 2 course. It's it's fast, but at the same time, there's some very technical spots to it. I really... I quite enjoyed this course, personally. I thought that this was a great set by Logan. And, uh, and so we're going to watch Cameron go through this course and see how he can do in this buggy. And if you guys haven't seen these buggy bodies that Cameron makes, I'll link to his website down below. These things are absolutely just rad. And he puts them on his custom chassis, his custom chassis rails that he makes, which are carbon cut now. I can't remember if in this case, maybe we'll get a better look if this is a carbon rail chassis or if this is going to be a metal rail chassis. It looks... Looks like it's a carbon rail chassis, but I can't tell for sure. But the hard part about running uh, courses, uh, running comp courses in a body like this is you're putting a lot of your weight up high, right? And you're competing a lot of, uh, against a lot of guys who are definitely running some pretty optimal uh, centers of gravity, right? You've got guys who are really trying to chop as much weight as they possibly can uh, up top, keep nice, nice uh, center of gravity down low, really make it easy to do side hills and stuff like this. But as you can see, even though he's running a hard body such as this, Cameron's got his rig pretty well dialed. And that's something that I've noticed about Cameron's uh, builds is that he really spends a lot of time dialing them in. And he's actually got a YouTube channel. I'll link to it uh, as well down in the description so that you can see the Desert RC YouTube channel because he's got a lot of great technical skill. And on top of, you know, these products that he makes, which are fantastic products that you can actually purchase for yourself, he also spends a lot of time dialing in his own rigs. And you can glean a lot of that information, a lot of those insights from his uh, from his YouTube channel as well. Man, just a super unfortunate run at that, uh, at that bonus gate. We can see maybe the bug body coming in handy. I was about to say it seemed like, oh, yep, definitely probably coming in handy there. And it looks like I need to capture that reverse so we're actually at a plus 21 with that uh, with that uh, bonus turned into a gate hit and look at the time right now we're doing great on time right we're coming into the halfway mark for 
the course and we're at a 230 right now and you got to remember that these courses are um, six minute if I remember correctly six minute time limits so we're under the halfway mark in terms of time um, but here's where we're gonna see some issues when it comes to I don't know if it's necessarily the high center of gravity or just the excess weight coming from such a, a big body such a big hard body like this um, but we've got some bouncing going on and oftentimes you know that bouncing is it could be a symbol of a lot of different things although i will say it's it's hard to say on such a steep surface like this every truck is going to get to a point where it starts bouncing uh when you start getting into such high grade climbs like this one um, but we can see that we're definitely struggling to get up here he's running it looks like he's running some crawlers going to take a reverse on that one looks like he's running some crawlers there um in in a town you know and, and these crawlers are are great uh tires when it comes to getting good grip on this rock out at uh, the Three Peaks uh, area, the Three Peaks Recreation area. You know, this rock is good. It's pretty gritty. It's It's got some good grip to it. And then these these uh, tires, I believe this is the G8 compound that he's running, uh, looks looks to be, uh, by the way that it's hugging the rock, it, is, this is really a great combination. So he should be getting good traction, which makes me think that it could just be that uh, bigger body that's making it difficult. And obviously suspension tuning can help you pull out some of that balance bounce Ooh, and just you know just taking the right angle there that's interesting you know that that uh, the appropriate line or the line that I saw most people take through that little section right there was on the um, far left side right that far driver side and trying to utilize what little uh, uh, kind of abscess or, or, or a little bit uh, of a relief in the gradient that you possibly could um, which he Cameron here kind of took advantage of at the very beginning of that bounce and then made his way over to the far right which is kind of interesting but whatever it takes to get up um, obviously now we're at a plus 25 though and we're at a 430 so we we spent a lot of time on that uh, on that little incline there and now we've really got to make our time through this as quickly as we possibly can he is going to go for this second bonus here he really wants to get rid of some of these points a 24 while you're running a scale body like this on such a difficult course is really still pretty impressive but being the competitive guy that he is Cameron really wants to get uh, really wants to get a score as low as he possibly can and when you get into the finals like we are here at the three peaks area you, you really every point counts every second counts and every point counts so he's really trying to do the best he can to keep that score low unfortunately to line up for this bonus he's having to take yet another back up there um, but let's see if he can get this he's got the right line now taking that again that far driver side line is really an uncomfortable amount to the driver side and pins it to the throttle and he's a little bit sideways through the gate and I would say that was a mistake right it, I you it oh and that mistake I think is what caused that error right there where he tapped that last gate so we're coming up now a 37 at the end of this and that's it's just an unfortunate little um, mistake there at the very end. You know, I think if he would have straightened himself out just a little bit more before applying the throttle the first time as he got through that bonus gate or as he got the front axle through that bonus gate, I think he could have dragged the rear axle through that bonus gate without any issue. A little bit tough to say, though. You know, he was definitely uh, he was definitely skidding out on there, which is uh, a bummer. And we're going to take a DNF at gate 10 there, leaving him with a plus 54. Still a great run, though. So thank you very much to Cameron from Desert RC for letting me film him. You know, like I said at the beginning of it, very tough to pull a car like this or a truck like this through a course as difficult as the courses that we have at the North vs. South uh, Championship, right? This is, this is tough crawling to begin with, even if you are using every cheater tactic that you can in the books. Um, but in this case, you know, Cameron really taking it to the next level, not using a winch on that very, very difficult ascent and still managing to get up it without, you know, too much trouble. I mean, he spent a lot of time on it, but at the end of the day, and that probably did cause some of the haste that may have caused that second bonus to get knocked out, which is quite unfortunate. But either way, I thought that he did a great job of finding the right line up that ascent eventually. And just in general, dealing with the fact that he's got such a high center of gravity, I think that he really did fantastic. So Cameron, thank you very much. 
much for letting us watch this run. It was fantastic. If you guys enjoyed it, now that you've made it to the end of the video, don't forget to give this video a like. That lets the algorithm know that I'm doing something right here. Let's me know that I should keep doing this type of stuff. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to see more content like this every other week, and then those in between weeks, we're still doing live streams. The High Noon Hobby on Sunday live streams with Sons of Crawl. Um, so look out for those as well. We will always record those in case you miss the live, but it's fun to have you guys join us so that we can uh, chat in person. So hope to see you guys there for the next uh, for the next live stream. But uh, if I miss you on that one, then at least we'll have next Friday together. Hope you guys have a great time in between. Get some RC crawling in, get some uh, some FPV droning, whatever you enjoy doing, and we'll see you very soon. All right, cheers. <laughs>